So I was doing some shopping online and I came across a thread where people seem to be a little bit confused about what an Intel Core i7 uh, demo box should look like. So uh, here's, here's the thread on overclockers.com. You can see that he received an i7-920 and that there appears to be a fan inside. So don't worry, there's going to be more to this. We're going to show you how to recognize a proper Intel processor. You can see that the box is covered in spelling mistakes right here. Use in a desktop, etc., etc. Hyperthreading is not is not spelled properly as per the Intel uh, trademark. Okay, we keep going. Okay, so why don't we why don't we diverge here and we'll show you what an Intel demo processor box looks like. This is an Intel Core i3 530. Please note the lack of any spelling mistakes whatsoever. There's all the proper information about the CPU inside. All right, you can see a CPU through the window. Please note that it is not made of paper. It is a CPU with a metal heat spreader on the top. And then through the window, you can see that there is a fan and heat sink made of metal and plastic, not made of some kind of uh, uh, plaster of Paris and a sticker. Okay, also please note that unlike the picture here where you can see factory sealed is actually printed on the box, factory sealed is actually printed. We've already broken this seal. But you can see it's printed on the sticker itself and it comes away in a checker pattern because it's an actual proper security tape. Okay, so why don't we go a little bit further on our, on our thread here and see what's going on. Okay, inside, this is what it appears to have come with. So why don't we open up our demo processor and see what we find inside. So we have, uh, as far as the heatsink is concerned, okay, first we've got a processor. And we'll get to that one a little bit after. And we've got a heat sink. So our heat sink has um, an aluminum base and aluminum fins. It's got four push pins. Okay, it has a four pin fan connector and some, uh, some spinning blades. Okay, and the one that you could apparently potentially have ended up with looks like this. It looks like a big chunk of beige junk. And there's a sticker on the top that looks like an Intel fan. Okay, that's pretty good. And then the CPU. Okay, please note that in a proper Intel demo package, there should be a real CPU looking about something like this, not a sticker of a CPU on top of, actually, I, I don't even know what this is. This is like some random thing. So just for all the customers out there, if you want to recognize if you have a real Intel processor, it should come with one of these or one of these. All right. It should come with a retail box heatsink that looks something like this, this, or this, and it should not come with anything in the box that looks like that. Thank you for watching Linus Tech Tips.